hanging out with our friends from uh, Lake of the Ozarks Watershed Alliance. Now, I don't know for those of you who uh, come and visit the lake, uh, you're out there on the water, you're having a good time. But one of the things that we have to concern ourselves with is the quality of the water so we can continue to enjoy ourselves. We've got uh, Sammy Schwenk. She's but the project coordinator, is that the right to title? I am project manager for Lake of the Ozarks Watershed Alliance. Thank you, KB. Well, and you know, we got to have some fun with you guys uh, earlier in the year, or last year actually, went out, took some water samples, and it's uh, it, it's uh, an interesting process that you folks go through to determine, to determine water quality. Oh yes, thank you for accompanying us on that boat ride. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we do take those samples and we just got our grant signed to get them analyzed, so the results will be available on our website this spring. And what is that website? That is www.lowatershed.org. Very nice. Uh, let's talk about these two fine folks uh, over here to my left, uh, uh, Kathy and Dennis, and they're volunteers. Yes, volunteers are the backbone of our organization, and Dennis is actually on our board as our treasurer. He does a lot of great work for our organization, and Kathy is a master naturalist, and the master naturalists do a lot of work with LOA as well, so we very much appreciate them. One of the things I know that you guys are very adamant about is uh, uh, soil erosion and trying to do what you can if you live right there along the lake to maintain that soil and there's a lot of different programs that you have available to folks to help out with that. Absolutely if you're looking for money come our way. We uh, give DNR grant funds to people that install lake healthy landscaping like riprap and Missouri native plants with absorbent root systems. Very uh, good time now to be uh, doing an interview while the uh, person is on the PA but at the same time uh, you're also looking for other volunteers around the lake area. You've got uh, these folks that help you out here, but uh, I know there's uh, other people that uh, can go out and participate and uh, keep an eye on the water quality as well. Absolutely. We're actually doing that 22-week uh, water study right now. We did that round of testing last year. We're going to do another one this summer, and we have volunteers going out every Wednesday to collect water samples at five different points along the lake so we can see if there's a particular spot that needs more attention than others. And so we'll adjust our testing as needed once we get those results back from last year. You know, you got a lot of good folks working to keep the quality of the water uh, where it needs to be so people can come to the lake and enjoy. We always ask people, you know, do what you can to, uh, I don't know, uh, keep the lake clean, don't throw uh, things in it. But uh, uh, there are a lot of other factors, including uh, the environment, which affects our lake as well. Oh, yes. And one of the most important things is to not put leaves into the lake. It's not great for the lake. A lot of people do it. And I think it's mostly just education because people want to keep the lake healthy. So once we let them know that they shouldn't do that, uh, they generally try to uh, adhere. <laughs> Sammy Schwenk, she's the project manager. We've got uh, Kathy Bishop and uh, Dennis Reed with us as well, all part of the Lake of the Ozarks Watershed Alliance, doing a great job for future generations to keep this lake up and in, uh, in, in, in the water quality as, as good as we can possibly make it. Thank you all for uh, spending some time with us here today. We've got more coming up on Lake TV.